Hello, greetings to all of the audience. My name is Maria and I'm an MBA student from SBMITB. I'm going to talk about PT Telkom Indonesia performance review in the first half of 2021. First, I will start with a disclaimer that this presentation is made for the purpose of uh, completing the final exam of accounting course in the MBA program, and I'm from class Young Professional 65. This presentation will be held in three segments. First, uh, it's about the company background, and the second one is about the financial analysis, and the third one is the managerial analysis. About Telkom. PT Telkom Indonesia TBK or Telkom is a state-owned information and communication technology enterprise and, te and telecommunication network in Indonesia. Here are the purpose, the vision, and the mission of the company. Next, uh, about the share ownership. Telkom is a state-owned company, therefore, 52.1% of the share owned by the government and 47.9% uh, share owned by public. These are the total share, the market capitalization uh, as of August 2021. Uh, moving on to the financial analysis, starting with the balance sheet, there are total asset, total liabilities, and total equity. The total, the total asset is increasing 6.9%, total liabilities is increasing 22.9%, but the total equity is decreasing 8.9%. Moving on to the income statement, starting with the revenue, the revenue shown uh, is uh, shown per service provided by Telkom. There are telephone, interconnection, data and internet, network, in the home, and other services. We can see that the highest revenue come from data and internet. The second one is from the in the home. This is in line with our pandemic situation, which our activity is mainly held online. And for the total revenue, uh, is increasing 3.9% in general. Moving on to the cost and expenses, uh, which cost and expenses is shown uh, based on function in the company, which are operation, personnel, interconnection, general and administration, uh, also marketing, uh, and outside the function of the company, there are depreciation and amortization. We can see that the highest cost come from the operation function. The total cost in general is increasing 2.8%. The next one, uh, there are operating profit, EBITDA, and also net income. For the operating profit, we can get it from the revenue minus cost, which is uh, increasing 6.1% in the first half of 2021. And for the EBITDA, it is increasing 4.7%. And the net income, <clears throat> uh, it, it's increasing 13.3%, which we can get from the profit for the period attributed to the owners of the parent company. Uh, this, this three segment is increasing, meaning that the telecom is experiencing an increase in the profitability, uh, mainly because of the successful managerial efficiency. Uh, the next statement is cash flow statement. There are operating activities uh, or cash provided for the operating activities. Next is cash used in investing activities and cash used in financing activities. These are the numbers. Okay, moving on to the ratio analysis. We have liquidity analysis, leverage uh, or liquidity ratio, and then the leverage ratio and the profitability ratio. You can see uh, first from the leverage and profitability that all the numbers is uh, experiencing an increase. Uh, therefore, uh, Telkom's leverage rate is increasing and Telkom's profitability is also increasing, which is a good thing. Uh, next, for the liquidity, the current ratio is decreasing, the cash ratio is increasing, and the operating cash flow ratio is uh, also decreasing. And the cash flow ratio, we can 
see that the increment happen because uh, Telcom's cash and cash equivalence is also increasing. Uh, next and final is the managerial analysis. I use responsibility accounting, which divided into cost center, revenue center, profit center, and investment center. The cost center divided again into three sub cost center, which is impersonal cost, operational cost, and personal cost. Uh, this is based on the function of the cost. Uh, for example, the interconnection cost uh, is allocated in the person, impersonal cost center. General administration, marketing, and operation is allocated in the operational cost, and the personal cost is allocated in the personal cost center. Uh, to read this data, uh, unfavorable means that the cost generated in the first half of 2021 is higher than the cost generated in the financial year uh, 2020, uh, which usually considered uh, as a bad thing. The next one is the revenue center. Uh, the revenue uh, is shown based on segments in the telecom. There are mobile, consumer, enterprise, WIB and others. Okay, uh, in the revenue center, the unfavorable means the segment generate more revenue than uh, the financial year of 2020, which usually considered as a good thing. Okay, as we can see that the highest revenue comes from the mobile segment. Uh, this is also in line with the pandemic situation which uh, the mobile segment offer uh, data and internet service for the customer. Okay, next one is the profit center. Uh, we use the first half of 2021, financial year of 2020, financial year of 2019, and financial year of 2018 because Telkom didn't give us the data uh, of the cost per segment so we use propositioning uh, to get the number of uh, first half of 2021. Okay, as we can see that for enterprise WIB and others uh, in three years they always generate loss and never profit. I think uh, Telkom needs to find out to analyze uh, the cost. The main problem happened in this segment uh, and decided the next step to take. Uh, for example, maybe uh, close the segment if the market if the market is not there anymore or restructuring uh, in the managerial level if there's a incompetence or underperformer or the other way is to lower the cost for the segment. Okay, uh, last one is the investment center. This number is generated by the uh, ROE. So we can see that the invest happen in the first half of 2021 is higher than the first half of 20, which is uh, relatively a good thing. Okay, so the conclusion is based on the ratio analysis, Telkom is a relatively stable company. As we can see from the ratio analysis, there are no significant increases or decreases in the ratio. According to the ratio, Telkom's liquidity is improving as well as the profitability and the leverage or ability to pay debt. So we can conclude that Telkom is a low risk and safe company. Uh, the second one, uh, improving the stock market. Uh, Telkom stock price in the market is relatively stable from time to time. Uh, looking from the business perspective, although Telkom is still facing some loss, 
it is still considered as a superior company compared to the other companies. One of the strategies that can elevate its stock price is to buy more tower. Uh, we know that Telkom have a project uh, on launching its 5G. So more tower means more quality. Uh, so Telkom can expand uh, its market also satisfied their customers. So the trust from the customer is increasing and uh, it will impact the uh, telecom stock price in the market. So that's it from me. Thank you for your attention.